Yo, what is going on my students and scholars? How's it going? So today my wife had asked me a question basically asking if a school, the, the school that my daughter does go to, whatever that may be, if they had an assignment that asked her to take a picture of her reading a book in the bathtub, what would my uh, response be? And I said, I'd pretty much just have fun with it. Um, I'd probably have us all take a family picture in the bathtub of us reading books, uh, fully clothed, of course. But just have it'd be a fun, a fun little thing to do. It'd be like a little family thing. We take a selfie, have some books in front of us, and that's that's what I would turn into the teacher. Uh, however, my wife disagreed with that. She said she'd feel a little concerned, and apparently she is not the only one that feels that way. Um, so today we're going to be taking a look at a news article from CBS Chicago about a little girl who got an assignment to take a picture of her reading a book in the bathtub, and. Her parents are really concerned about that, so we'll go ahead and take a look. Okay, so like I said, this is a, from CBS Chicago, so this is a one-minute news segment. Let's go ahead and watch it. A homework assignment for a Florida girl has a lot of people asking, how did this happen? So take a look here. This is a picture of the assignment. It says clearly... So this is, this is what I want you guys to see. Obviously, if you just take that sentence, this part of the homework, if you take that and you just do what they're doing here and you're just fading out everything else it kind of looks bad send a picture of you doing reading homework in bathtub that's all it says but we'll just go ahead and continue watching send a photo of you doing reading homework in the bathtub well the parents okay of this is what i wanted to talk about like okay there's a real clear difference of me seeing that picture previously and the picture of the actual page so this just details the homework for the week so on Monday, practice Psalm, whatever, with adult three times, spelling page 10, fun with friends, page 107 through 108. And then on Tuesday, practice Psalm, send picture of you doing reading homework in bathtub, fun with friends, practice spelling list, arithmetic test, phonics test. And apparently the uh, parents of, I guess, the child's name is Mackenzie. It says, so Mackenzie will not be taking pictures in the bathtub. We do not condone in taking pictures in the bathroom. You know... Honestly, as a father, I obviously don't want pictures of my underage daughter or my daughter at all uh, to be taken in any type of way outside of, you know, it, it's a normal, normal picture, a nice looking picture. I can see from my wife's perspective and other people's perspectives that this could sound bad, but I didn't take it that way. I think the intent was meant to be a little fun, silly homework assignment. It's just a picture of you in your bathtub. That's not normal. I mean, I, I would think it's a little weird if they had said, send a picture of you doing homework on the toilet. That would be a little weird. But I think it was just meant to be fun. It was meant to be silly. Like, uh, take a picture of you doing your homework while cooking a dish or cleaning your dishes or doing your chores, something like that. You know, it, it, it was meant to be silly, but people are taking this out of context, I'm thinking at least. But we'll go ahead and continue. An eight-year-old said that they told her daughter she would not participate in this. They even noted it directly on the homework assignment. Now, the instructions do say... Do you see? It says cover your child up with something. Cover up your kid. Still, the parents say when they called the... So this is from the school. It says, we have been sending this homework assignment home for years, and you're the only one complaining about it. So I want you to note this as well. This is what the actual document says, but the news anchor gets it wrong. She says... We've been sending this homework assignment home for years, and you're not the only one complaining about it. So read, but listen, because she's going to fuck it up. The school administrators, they said, we have been sending this homework assignment out for years, and you're not the only one complaining about it. I advise the complaint, complainant not to allow her daughter to complete the assignment. That's it. You don't have to complete the assignment. That's, is that not what she just, that, that's, uh, I don't know. The parents later asked police who said they should not participate and victory christian academy okay student named mckenzie grade second date enrolled okay so this is a withdrawal form administrative withdrawal so this is basically the administration withdrawing uh little miss mckenzie out of the school so uh the parents signature parents refused to sign so anyways the parents refused to re sign the withdrawal form uh, but the administration has already withdrew her from the school. So regardless of you wanting to sign it, they can do that. Then the girl's mother got a phone call from the school. I think you guys should do a parent. So this is Misty Dunham, which is uh, Mackenzie's mother. Parental withdrawal. Uh, let me see. Parental withdrawal. I think you guys should do a parental withdrawal for Mackenzie. 
And I said, I can't, I can't, I can't do that. And we we refused to withdraw her. He said, okay, thank you for saying that and continued on saying, well, we're going to proceed with an administration withdrawal. So I don't know if that's really a lot different. So the principal had uh, advised them to pull her out on behalf of the parents, uh, to pull Mackenzie out on behalf of them. But the administration is like, okay, well, since you're not going to do that, we'll just pull her out for you. So I don't know if it's like a kind of consequence, like difference at all, but we'll, I guess we'll just continue. Well, the family says that girl was indeed withdrawn from the Victory Christian Academy in Jacksonville. And that's the rest the of that condition. news segment. I like the special cool. condition. They go on. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at, if you look at bathtub assignment on YouTube, there's this one short that kind of caught my eye. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, this one short. So let's go ahead and take a look. Big Yice doesn't even begin to describe how weird this is. Second grader kicked out of school after parents outrage over bathtub picture assignment. So let me start by saying that this is a private school in Florida run by a Baptist church. Mm -hmm. And you will not believe the excuse they make for this. So basically the assignment was given to the second grader who didn't feel comfortable taking pictures of herself in the bathtub. Understandably, it wasn't. I don't think it was only the kid. Maybe it was the kid. I mean, I, if I was a second grader, I'm probably stupid. Probably, I probably didn't really have an issue with that. I'm just doing what the teacher says. Um, I think it was the parents, but good try, buddy. Her parents then sent an email to the teacher saying, "Hey, you might want to explain this a little bit more. It's weird." The teacher then clarified, "You should be wearing pajamas or be in uniform. Have fun with it." But it see that that's the kind of like intent that I thought this assignment would have just be have fun with it like I was even telling my wife I was like you know if uh if that was presented to me if the assignment was, was presented to our daughter and our daughter brought it to our attention I'd probably go down to Home Depot go to the one of those display bathtubs and have her take a picture there I, I you know just have fun with it. that's the whole point it's just be silly it's not like oh let's sexualize our daughters and sons it's, it's not that I don't think that was the intent at all but then again you never know. People can be a little weird. Teachers can be a little weird. Yes, and um, obviously this is a, a what he said a Baptist uh, academy. Now I'm not really a big fan of religion. Not really. Um, and I know there's a lot of creepos out there, but there are a lot of creepos that are atheists. So it's not just religion itself. Regardless, I I don't think it was an assignment that was meant to be taken any type of way other than like have a, have a little silly picture of you doing your homework. Cool, cool. That was it. It didn't seem to say right. I don't understand how they're the first parents to raise this concern. Then to justify this concern. They say, we've been sending this home for years and no one's complained about it, just you. So we're going to eat you right out of the school. And they did. And well, it wasn't like that. It was like, uh, we, we recommend you pull your daughter out if you don't want to continue on with the curriculum. And if you guys don't want to do that, we'll just... We'll do it ourselves. And so it wasn't it wasn't as short and sweet as he's putting it. It's it's a little more complicated than that. And then they removed the assignment. And their excuse? Well, we got it from a teacher website. They were doing it too. Big Yice does Yeah, whatever. But okay, so this is a video. This video, bathtub assignment two years ago from Angela Yonke. Now, this is how I thought the intent of the assignment was supposed to be. Look how Silly, how fun, how creative it's supposed to be. This is not a teacher who's um, remotely uh, related to the topic, but this is a teacher who's pretty much presenting the same idea. So I want to go ahead and watch this and show you guys what my intent, my initial intentions were, and I still believe this. Good morning, Middle Creek. Oh, shit, I should turn off the playback speed on double. Let's go ahead and run that back. Good morning, Middle Creek. How's it going? You might be wondering, why is Miss Angela in her shower and bathtub? Pretty weird. Well, I'll tell you why. Because this is one of your locations you should do your art project this week. We are going to get messy. And I know that parents love messy. You love messy, right, parents? Well, our project, our painting this week is going to get messy. So you have the option of doing your project outside where it's totally fine to get messy or could be kind of fun to do your project in the bathtub. 
I don't think there's anything sexual about a bathtub if you're just looking at the bathtub. If you want to sexualize it, then that's your fucking issue. So let me tell you a little bit about this week. We are going to be studying Jackson Pollock, a very famous artist. And he's really fun. He's got all this energy, and it comes through his artworks. Uh, there's a lot of movement and rhythm, too, so I recommend doing your artwork to music this week, too. Jackson Pollock loved jazz music. It's all over the place, and it changes all the time quickly. You see, this is this is the kind of thing that I thought the assignment was supposed to be. It was supposed to be silly. I mean, it's not. It's a reading assignment versus an art assignment. Yes, I get that. But the, the whole intent behind both of them, I think, was just to have fun in a different setting than you're used to. You're not usually taking pictures in the bathtub. Uh, I don't I don't know, unless you're doing uh, one of those adult videos. I see you don't have a lifeguard here at your beach. I'm not at the beach, this is a bathtub. But it's just it's supposed to be fun. That's all it is. I don't think they're, the, the school was trying to sexualize kids. I don't think so. But people are gonna be outraged over the littlest of things and they're gonna take things wrong or different than their intentions are. So, I don't know. I just, I don't agree with kicking out the student for that assignment, but I can see how if they had an issue with one of the assignments on the curriculum, then they could maybe potentially have other issues and just maybe cause a disruption for the class or or what whatever. But these aren't, I don't think these are really uh, intentionally bad assignments. I don't think so. Okay, so that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. I, like I said, I don't know. Let me, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. I, I don't think it was intentionally bad how they did put it, how the news put it, where they just showed that uh, little line of text and they faded out everything else. Yeah, that kind of looks bad a little bit out of context, but if you put everything into context and you see the actual uh, the week, the week-long assignments, it doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't. And I don't think, like I said, the intention was supposed to be bad. But uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think and what your thoughts are. Um, as a parent, I I would say I, I don't really see a, a big issue with it, but maybe you guys did. I don't know. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button down below. Comment what you guys want to comment. Subscribe today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fake if you want to play tough and want to hate this. I'll always show up and make a statement.